Today, 2K20 tutorial number 25. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the most overpowered freelance offense in the game. We will study in detail how to trigger the best freelance spacing with this freelance and also how to create all of its dynamic branches for you. If you enjoy my tutorials and you would like to see more, make sure you click on the link above for my all 2K20 tutorials playlist where I guarantee you'll find more videos to help you improve your game and most importantly, have more fun. So truly, 2K has never had a better or smarter on-the-go freelance than this one that I'm showing you today. Like when you get this freelance going just right, magic happens, it is beautiful, but absolutely deadly. Like with it on, I guarantee you will play better on my team, play now, my GM, against your friends, anywhere you choose, you will be a better player with this freelance on. So first things first though, make sure you go to your offensive settings and I change your freelance series order to dynamic and your freelance series repeat to do not repeat. Those are essential and it must be done that way. Secondly, go to your visual feedback settings and turn your play vision display to full, play call messages to show all and your offensive play vision to all plays so you can see the dynamic branches as they happen so you can read and react properly. And the freelance that you want is Clippers 2018. Now before you ask Sam, why not Bucks 2018? Well, let me show you. This is because the Bucks 2018 Freelance actually lets you die in the best spacing you create for yourself. So watch, I'm bringing up a Bobby Sir right here and I've decided to trigger Vujovic for a pick and roll and I'm sending myself towards help. Like look at Vujovic's screen. This one is sending me to the left side, which is where Vince Carter is. And as this happens, Vince just, like he plans to do very little for me. He's just gonna stand there in like that break area. And if I drive and I use the screen, I'm actually gonna drive right at the pinch and right at the help side, like where there's literally eight people. But because I do have dynamic freelance on, like Vince eventually does move as I drive for him. But like I said, like this is a very congested area. Nobody really moved for me. Like as he moves now, like this isn't really a devastating route. Like there's very little I can do with this because Vujovic is in the paint too. I can't even like tell Carter to cut in. So now I run it again. Same thing. I'm driving towards myself to help side and then so like this is all I get out of Bucks 2018 freelance if I'm calling a middle pick and roll and the screen is sending me to help. And worse, sometimes Carter won't even move. And then you see he never moves here, but the weak side corner man moved up. Like these are not good branches, nor is this smart freelance spacing if I'm trying to run a middle pick and roll. Clippers freelance, however, has amazing auto spacing based on how I attack. So check it out here. I'm in the middle again with Bobby Sura. I'm about to trigger a middle pick and roll from Siakam and the screen is to the left. So you can see Carter and Ferguson are already moving out of the way, opening up the left for me. But as that's happening, I actually wanted to switch the screen to the right side, right? Like this is the amazing part. Like I switched the screen side to Carter's side. And watch, Carter is moving. And you see he goes in motion immediately, gets out of my way to open that side for me on the fly. And as that happens to top it all off, a dynamic branch triggered as I run pick and rolls. And all of the clipper ones are the most ideal best ones. You can see Carter is kind of doing a loop cut. Siakam is going to open up the slip. And then Ferguson is going to feel the wing from coming up from the corner. So as Siakam slips, the corner defender can't really help. Like this was all organic and based on what I call and my, the adjustments I made during this procession, right? And this is perfect. Like I just got to read and react to this. And if I make the right read, I'll get good results. That's the key of a freelance. So watch this one time in real time. I bring the ball up to the middle, call for the Siakam screen. I don't like what I'm seeing. I switch the screen side, Carter knows, gets out of the way. Siakam knows, slips, Ferguson knows, comes up. I hit the slip, forces a switch. Beautiful work. So once again, you can see it in a different position. The Clippers freelance adjusts to me as I change the screen side. So I got Vucevic sending me to the right here. I don't like it. I switch the screen to the left by tapping L3. Carter immediately moves as I switch the screen instantaneously, does a loop cut. Another smart dynamic freelance branch triggers as this pick and roll spacing develops. I know the corner man is coming up and Vujovic is kind of going to go pin him down. And because I knew all this, because the play art allowed me to see what's coming because it's on full play vision, I read and react to it. And I decided to icon cut Carter 
by tapping R1 and holding circle to become Carter because I know the middle is going to be open. So I tap R1, held circle to control Carter myself, hold down turbo, run Carter into the paint. And now that I know Carter is open, I'm going to let go of circle. The defender can't steal. If he can't see the ball, catch, finish. Beautiful, beautiful Clippers freelance pretty much just helping me out to make it easier for me to attack on offense and that's awesome so another possession right in the middle calling that pick and roll Vujovic is coming up again the spacing is always going to be like this that's spread 4-1 one, one out in as you call a pick and roll it's going to be 4-1 in spacing I switch the screen side so Ferguson gets out of the way he does that loop cut Vujovic comes sets the screen dynamic branch once again triggers but this time it didn't trigger on time because I already decided to control Ferguson and when your eye can't control someone everything cancels out which is fine though I'm gonna cut in Ferguson Vujovic decided to roll in on the screen but as Ferguson cut in Vujovic kind of splits the defense and now he's wide open so all I really gotta do is dump it off to him another beautiful action on the freelance and off read and react once again and the Clippers freelance constantly creates ideal spacing for you. You can see it here again. I'm calling for this ball screen. I switch the screen side. Bobby Sura knows, so he goes from the wing. Luke cuts up top. I get the screen. I hit it. And the dynamic freelance bench is about to trigger. That's what that circle is. Majority of all of these branches that you see are triggering from Clippers freelance, they're all sideline actions, which means the middle is always going to be open. You can see I'm running a wing pick and roll here and another dynamic branch triggered. And once again, it's majority of them are sideline actions to kind of bring the help defense out of the picture. I decided to shoot a free board here for Siakam. I, maybe I should have passed it, but I just shot a free board because I saw the defense shift. I thought Siakam was going to grab this. I made it, so I'll take it, but amazing amazing dynamic freelance branches so clippers freelance has the best on the go ai movement in 2k history hands down but to top it all off it also has a lot of the very useful practical and easy to use spacing on isolations plus it has amazing dynamic freelance branches for a user who has good read and react and passing control skills like Allow me to show you now just more of these branches so you know what might be coming. Because it's on dynamic, so they won't be always coming the same. But once you get familiar with them, boy, you can play some pretty good 2k ball. So watch. Uh, you, to trigger the branches, really, you're just going to stand still on the wings, like above the free point line for 2-3 to three seconds. And then it will come. And as they happen, you just read and react out of them. And if you like what you see, take it and attack. Majority of these dynamic branches though are on the sidelines and they're gonna trigger as you run pick and roll. So you see, I'm running a wing pick and roll here and the dynamic circle already came up, so I know it's coming. It's gonna kind of wait it out. So I head towards anywhere close to the circle, it triggers it. And then now it's once again a sideline action. Like it's a roll where the corner man comes up so the help defense can't come in. It always shifts the corner man out of the defensive rotations. Like that is so huge in this game. And it's amazing because these come up all the time. Like. I'm standing still with Brockton here. So the branch came in, like the dynamic branch is coming up. That's what that circle is. I don't even have to be at the circle, I just need to be close to it. It's gonna trigger. So once again, we got a lot of these sideline middle clearing out the middle action coming from the side. I decided to pass to Ola Depot. There's nothing. I call for another wing pick and roll. The circle comes up again and I was close to it. So now we got some wing pick and roll spacing branch. Once again, the corner man is moving out of the way so the rotation can't happen. Roman's gonna go as the ball handler, you can go wherever you want. I find the Roman finishing up, corner defense wasn't there. Beautiful branch once again. So, circle comes up, as you can be close to it, wait it out. I hit the circle, and then these branches come up. You can see what's going on because of the fruit play vision. How you do it is up to you. You can pass out of this or you can reset, but I decided to drive because, you know, I saw a lane with all the depot. But what you do with all of these spacing as they trigger dynamically is up to you. It's just as long as like, you know what, here, I'm doing user-created motion with some triangle cuts and some handoff circle came up. I hit it, dynamic branch triggers, and I'm going to use this motion and just get that little extra space for all the depot. The defense is constantly being shifted because these dynamic branches come up and they're kind of relative to where you start the offense. So... They're going to really move the defense out of the way for you because Clippers just got such excellent ones. Here, I'm just bringing the ball up. A brand trigger, I don't use it. I do a handoff, but KG was kind of in the space already. So I flow into an icon pick and roll, into a pick and fade, and I shoot that short midi shot. It's, it's still great. Like, And if you bring the ball to the middle, it triggers five out. So if you're not doing any of the, you know, switching pick and rolls to get the proper spacing I showed you earlier, or any of those sideline benches that you run wing and middle pick and rolls, 
just go five out. You bring the ball to the middle, hit them with those blow by moves I've been showing you, give them a dribble jab, give them a behind the back momentum, like do all this good stuff. It's ISO, like AI will stand still for you for two to three seconds if you're right in the middle of the court like this with the ball, like that classic Giannis five out spot. If you're there, the AI won't move and branches won't trigger for two seconds. So in that time, it's blow by dribble move heaven. So this freelance truly has it all, right? And the same ISO spacing also applies if you bring the ball to the wing. Like don't call any pick and rolls, just bring it to the wing. And then it'll give you a little bit of ISO. Eventually dynamic branches will trigger, but if you start going to dribble moves on the wing, you get ISOs. Alright? So, if you guys enjoyed this, let me know. I haven't seen a better freelance than this, truly. You kind of need a stretchy center, but really though, you don't even need to because if you don't have a stretchy center, just run middle pick and rolls like I was showing you earlier. And the spacing is always going to be correct for you, right? And what you see here, this little picture that I started to add into the beginning of the videos, it's actually the league bound free on free pro-am tournament that is hosted by the Bucks 2K League gaming team and also by me, yours truly. Winners will get $5,000 dates are coming up and not only that the winner not only get the five thousand dollar winning team get the five thousand uh, dollars members of the team will also be given the chance to get in the draft pool for the 2k league so if you're interested in that keep an eye out for that more details will be released soon that's all i can tell you so far but i'm very excited that i'll be hosting this tourney talking it with you guys and hopefully some of you will participate get in the qualifiers hey maybe even make it to the finals win some money win a league spot and most importantly i'll also be starting my own park 3v3 gameplay as tutorials to you know kind of shed some light and relate to this league bound tournament all right so as always thanks for coming by shout out to bucks gg you guys know why i love you so much and uh yeah i will speak to you guys again very soon